It's an event of a lifetime that will be very exciting and something to experience. I'm really looking forward to like actually seeing the eclipse because I've never seen one in real life before. I've only seen pictures of them. Anna Vay Stoffacher, who's going into the seventh grade, was part of the crowd lined up outside the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center hours before the eclipse. Mary Bartell was first in line. The last total solar eclipse visible in the contiguous United States was back in 1979. All I remember is I was young and I was working at the telephone company at the time and I don't remember much more than that. Scientists will be hoping to learn much more about the sun during the eclipse and NASA is promising some spectacular pictures. And if one fifth grader is right, we could be in for a major surprise. My friend got some glasses so I can look at the eclipse on the news I saw there's aliens so I wanted to see if that was real. But PJ thinks that probably isn't true. Everybody poke a hole. Yes. Everybody got a hole in there. Scientists and the media have been warning people about the dangers of looking directly at the sun. It's a message the executive director learned when she was in kindergarten during another eclipse. But her father might have overdone the warning. We were on Nantasket Beach and I went running um, to the car. Some sun got on my ankle and I was afraid of what might happen. But the message about the danger does seem to be filtering through. Now, if you don't have those special glasses, well, you can always head to our website, WMUR.com, and there you'll find a list of ways to safely view the eclipse. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.